greatness of your mercy. Praise the Lord. There's a, there's a great, there's mercy and but you can see me and say, say, according to the greatness of your mercy, mercy is in dimensions. But only grace of remembrance can make God remember man in the greatness dimension of mercy. Therefore, you pray this prayer. Repeat chapter me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your word, Remember me according to the greatness of your mercies and spare me and my family and my household from every evil by your spirit. The Lord will spare you from every evil by his spirit today. Turn it to prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your word, remember me according to the greatness of your mercy and spare me and my household from every form of evil by your spirit remember me to remember me for good today and spare me in the greatness of your mercy me and my household from Every form of good evil report, repair to us, according to the greatness of your mercy. Remember your people, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. I pray for you today that the Lord will remember you, to remember you according to the greatness of his mercy to spare you from the judgment of air that the government is against you. Every territorial judgment, environmental judgment, every inherited judgment because of the evil your ancestors has done that have not been wiped away. I decree those evil I wiped away by the blood of Jesus in his mercy in the name of Jesus. Those evil I wiped away Marupa etekaya by the blood of Jesus in the greatness of his mercy Mabarupa alupa ali karotazia many God will remember to wipe away your sin and spare you from the coming judgment. Whatever judgment that be written against you that you deserve I decree in the name of Jesus that you are exempted from them now by a According to the greatness of God's mercy, in the name of Jesus, it is done in Jesus' name. No wonder. He said, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. That those who are in captivity lawfully, he said, even because of his mercy, he said he will deliver them. Today, you are delivered. Every judgment against you, mark my word, you are delivered from them now in the name of Jesus. Rest and sin no more. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Still, still on the remembrance prayer in that same book of Nehemiah. Now, in Nehemiah 13, verse 29, it says, Remember them, O my God, because they have defied the priesthood, the covenant of the priest and the Levite. Praise the Lord. There are people the Lord has used you to redirect in life. There are some persons that if not for God, if not because God has used you to de redirect them one time or the other, they will have buried for life. But they are good today because God used you. Even when you didn't know that it was God that was using you. Even when you went, you had no idea of who God is, but God used you to redirect them to the right track. They might have forgotten you, but the Lord has used you even when. Everyone... You didn't know will remember you for good. But I'd like you to open your mouth and pray for this kind of remembrance. You will say, Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your word, remember me today and cause your grace and spirit of sanctification to come upon me by fire. When you redirect people on the right track, when God wants to remember you for that, he would redirect you. 
you might be in deep shit now. I say this always, that anything can make a man fall in the gutter. You, a car can be coming, the man can run because the car wants to fall in the gutter. A man might be playing in a fall in the gutter. And it, something might change a man to fall in the gutter. There's no problem with that. But there's problem if the man begin to enjoy the gutter. And there's much problem if the man now begin to live inside the gutter. The man now puts his cooker in the butter and begin to make food in the gutter. Anything can make you to fall into sin. There's no problem with that. But it's, it is evil for you to now start enjoying sin. Then it is very evil for you now to start living in sin. Today I decree by this kind of remembrance that the Lord will remember to sanctify you in the name of Jesus. He will remember to shower upon you the spirit of holiness in the name of Jesus. If Jesus that was born by the semen of the Holy Ghost could not be holy without the spirit of holiness, how much less you that is born with the sinful seed, you now want to live a holy life without the spirit of holiness. It's not possible. You can't be holy by yourself. I declare in the name of Jesus, that spirit of holiness, the spirit of holiness rests upon everyone under the sound of my voice now in the name of Jesus. You begin to live a sanctified life effortlessly, not by your effort again, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. And lastly, in Nehemiah 13, verse 31, I'm bringing the wood offering and the first fruits at the appointed times. Remember me, oh my God, for good. It is time for personal supplication. You know. Where you won't go to remember you for. So, 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 my baby, so my baby, pray, Father, remember to, to heal my child. Remember to give me a job. Remember to make my this my vision. There's, there's somebody watching me now. There's a vision you had 20 years ago. You have tried to bring this, this vision to come alive. But power, Z And resources to make this vision my life have not been supplied. Today is your day of remembrance. I don't know the area which you want God to remember you for. Begin to ask. For this and this, Lord, turn it to prayer. Rope men take a baruba ajada, rope a terabia, a caroba. Pray that the Lord remember you in the area 
It might be maritally, it might be spiritually, it might be materially, it might be ministerially. Whatever area, whichever area you want God to remember you, begin to ask Him to remember you now. Ayakopo topa ria, roba leke, roba topa roba leke ndoroa, rebeto shatara mani andosea, reberoa, rebekukuleba, arendeka, romeria, roba leke deke rabatosia. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Hallelujah. If the children of Israel, God can tell them, they murmur and he answered their murmuring. How much more you that have prayed, the Lord have answered you. He will remember you for good today in the name of Jesus. Once again, my name is Apostle Ayodele Michael Ojo. From Grace to Amazing Ministries, a ministry called to deliver the broken hearted and to make people rich by the word of repentance. Please, we have to be rich in God. When we talk about riches, a lot of people think riches has to do with finances alone. No. When a woman, a man is supposed to be married, is not married, that's marital poverty. The academic act, the poverty. You can be poor academically. Praise the Lord. Materially, you can be poor. I knew people that have jolted with millions of naira. And they, till now, they, have, they don't have a house they can call their own. That's material poverty. So in any area, you have been experiencing poverty. I declare be made rich now in the name of Jesus. And whatsoever... It's been breaking your heart. I declare your deliverance comes now in the name of Jesus. But by the word of repentance. We believe every scriptures in Grace and Amazing Ministry, but our emphasis is, is in Second Chronicles 7 14. It says, If my people who are called by my name, we humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and, re and re repent from their evil ways. He said, and forsake their evil ways. He said, I too will hear them from heaven. I will forgive their sins and heal their land. The Lord, as you repent now to follow him, the Lord is healing your land. Please, everyone, just repeat after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I mention your name. I come to you, Jesus. I believe I'm a sinner. And I, I believe and you see that forgive me my sins. I know you died for me on the top. You rose to be with God the Father, Lord Jesus. I release my spirit, body, and soul to you. Come into my life in case you are backslidden, Father. Today I rededicate my life to you, Jesus. Come into my life again and be the Lord over my life. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Please send time 5 to 5.30 every day. Tomorrow, we'll meet again as we, as we treat further these keys to assessing divine help. The Lord will divinely help you because the help of man is vain, but the help of God is everlasting. Shalom. God bless you.